19 heads of state and government were among world leaders who joined Kenyans as they ushered in the country's fifth administration at the Kasarani International Stadium. The East African heads of state who spoke on behalf of the guests centering their speeches on the call for regional integration to facilitate growth within the member countries as they challenged President William Ruto to strengthen relations between the nations who have sometimes differed over trade-related issues around their borders. Chamutai Goin now reports. As President William Ruto was handed over the instruments of power, ascending to the highest office in the land as the fifth president, over 20 heads of state and government were present to witness the historic moment in the country where power was once again handed over peacefully. One after the other, the leaders streamed in to bear witness as one of their own joined the fold. 19 heads of state and government, two vice presidents, four delegations including the United States, the chair of the African Union and two former heads of state present at the ceremony. In their congratulatory message, East African heads of state who spoke on behalf of the invited leaders urged President Ruto to ensure he built on the existing foundation on regional integration for mutual benefit for the member nations. In order for us to catch up with the United States, we need also to look at the issue of the regional market. Because when you produce, who buys? The more people that buy from you, the better for the business and the better for job creation. Nitumie fursa hii kuhakikishia Kenya dhamira yetu ya dhati ya kufanya kazi kwa kushirikiana kwa karibu zaidi katika kuleta maendeleo ya pamoja ya kijamii na kiuchumi baina ya nchi zetu lakini na ukanda wote wa Afrika Mashariki. Nikiwa rais wa Burundi na mwenyekiti wa mkutano mkuu wa marais wa nchi za jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki ninatarajia kufanya kazi na wewe ili kuimarisha maendeleo kwa kanda letu. Samia Sulu Hassan of Tanzania and her Burundi counterpart Evariste Ndayashimie lauding Kenyans for maintaining peace before, during and after the election saying they had demonstrated maturity. Nataka niwambie ndugu zetu wa Kenya kama kuna zawadi mlio itoa kwa jumu ya Afrika Mashariki mwaka huu ni zawadi ya amani mlio iweka katika uchaguzi. Tunawashukuru sana 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 kwa zawadi hiyo muhimu. Kenya imeshinda na mafanikio yenu ni kiburi ya jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Mumeshinda mumeshinda setani ya vita. Hongereni sana. With each pledging to work with President Ruto, they expressed confidence in his ability to transform Kenya for the better. I have not read, of course, the manifesto of Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza, nor have I read the other one of Azimio. But I know His Excellency Ruto, I have met him a number of times in Uganda, and I know he likes ideas and frank talking. Ni preses nzuri unakuja bila ubishi kama mtoto mzuri na nakutakia kila laheri. Ndugu zangu wa Kenya uchaguzi umemalizika. Sasa ni kujenga taifa la Kenya. Na hapa niungane na walioimba hapa. Kwamba wananchi wote wa Kenya sasa mshikane mikono 
kuijenga Kenya. Ruto in his speech committing to strengthening the East African spirit of peace and mutual cooperation by ensuring the thorny issues that cause strife between the nations were mutually resolved. The presence of heads of state and heads of government from over 20 countries from across the African continent and also across the world is testament of the honor, dignity and respect accorded to Kenya as Kenya's fifth president took his oath of office. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV at the Kasarani International Stadium, Nairobi.